Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to solve this one little math problem. But before I start the solution, please feel free, pause the video, solve it yourself, then compare your answers with my solution. Remember, if you use different way to solve this question, please let me know. It always makes me happy to see how creative you guys can be. Now I'm going to start the solution after three seconds. One, two, go ahead and get started. But what is the question? And where should we start the solution? The question says, find the value of second root of this expression. To solve this, I'm going to start my solution by working on this inner part. So let me rewrite it. It says second root of 121 minus second root of 120. 121 is a perfect square, so second root of 121 is 11 minus. What can we do with this number? 120. I'm going to rewrite it as the product of two numbers, 4 and 30. So let me rewrite it, second root of 4 times 30. Next, to continue the solution, I'm going to get her from a math rule that says second root of a times b can be written as second root of a times second root of b so it is going to be 11 minus second root of 4 times second root of 30. next step second root of 4 is 2 so let me write it 11 minus 2 times second root of 30. what can we do to continue the solution one more time, 30 can be written as a product of two numbers, 6 and 5. Let me write it, 6 and 5. So it is going to be 11 minus 2 times second root of 6 times second root of 5. Until here, great, well done, we did it well. But how can we continue the solution? Now we need to be a little bit tricky. Look, here we have 6, here we have 5, 2 and 11. I'm going to rewrite this 11 as the sum of two numbers. Can you guess what are those two numbers? 6 and 5, right? So it is going to be 6 plus 5, I mean 11. This is 6 plus 5, right? Minus. 2 times second root of 6 times second root of 5. To continue the solution, let me change the place of this term and this term. It is going to be 6 minus 2 second root of 6 times second root of 5 plus 5. Now, can you tell me what do we have here? Second root of 6, second root of 5. This is 6. We need to be tricky. So I'm going to write 6 as second root of 6 to the power of 2. Can I write? And 5 as second root of 5 to the power of 2. Let me write it. It is going to be instead of 6, I write second root of 6 to the power of 2 minus 2 times second root of 6 times second root of 5 plus second root of 5 to the power of 2. Now I'm sure all you know what is the next step. Look what do we have. First term to the power of 2 minus twice of the product of the first term and second term plus second term to the power of 2. What is this? This algebraic identity that says a minus b s squared is first term s squared minus twice of the product of the first term and second term plus second term s squared. So, first term s squared twice of the product of the first term and second term plus second term s squared. It can be written as second root of 6 minus second root of 5 to the power of 2. But, this is only the inner part. We need to find the value of second root of this inner part, which means this. So, what is this? These two as exponent, these two as rule can be cancelled off. So, the answer is second root of 6 minus second root of 5. Do not forget, we need absolute value here. But, 
on the other side, 6 is greater than 5. So, second root of 6 is greater than second root of 5. So that is why I can rewrite it as second root of 6 minus second root of 5. And this is the most simplified answer of our question. But if you want to find the final answer, second root of 6 can I write instead of second root of 6, 2.45, right? Second root of 5, I write 2.24. And tell me, 2.45 minus 2.24, almost it is 0 0.25. And this is our final answer. Remember, if you use different way to solve this question, let me know. Have fun.